This hat is going to prevent you from being known as that kid. Back to school. It's a time period of utter prepubescent hell, if I do say so myself. Now the title of this video is hella clickbaity because you're not gonna get, you know, DIY hacks. Hacks on how to get boys or girls or whatever you're into. But a lot of you guys have been asking me questions like, how do you survive freshman year? How to go through high school? And the reason why I don't jump on this bandwagon too much is because the internet drives it fucking insane. One video you're learning how to make a DIY journal out of your own toilet paper. The other one is how to make a pencil. Not really my type of thing, you know? But because I love you guys so much, that was like 50% sarcasm. I'm gonna give you tips, hacks, that actually help you get through high school, or middle school, or elementary school. But if you're in elementary school, why the hell are you watching me? I curse every second. Anyways, here are some back to school tips. This one is by far the biggest, most important, most easiest tip to follow. Are you ready? Study. Mind fucking blown. It's one word. It sounds so easy to be true. And guess what? It actually is easy. The one thing every teacher has taught you probably is to just study at least a little bit to help you through classes. And if you have like a B plus or an A, don't study. <laughs> Who needs studying like that? You have an A, fine. Don't overstudy either. I feel like every YouTuber misses this big tip that actually helps people because no one really cares about studying these days. Even 10 minutes of each subject will be enough to help you and you don't have to be wasting those 10 minutes Snapchatting, Instagramming, Twittering, <coughs> sexting. Don't deal with anyone's bullshit ever. Just sit in the shade and watch their world burn. And bullshit, in my opinion, is just the very extreme of bullshit. Mom, Frederick, could I have my weed delivered to your house for a little bit? I'm moving right now, so it's kind of hard. No, don't do it. Even if you get paid a hundred or a thousand dollars, don't do it. Ever. Just grab your glasses and watch their world burn. There's a fly in my room. There's a fly in my room. This one goes out to all the horny as fuck middle schoolers. Guess what? School isn't all about losing your virginity. Now, I'm not saying you can't be in a relationship. Maybe just get your homework done and deal with your social life after. Now, if you know me or if you don't, I'm not an extreme education pusher. But it doesn't mean I want y'all to just forget about it and not care. Because life for some reason, is built upon a few numbers and a sheet of paper that gets you into a college. So just get it over with and don't whine about it. I don't like studying or doing homework, but I do it because I want to get this shit over with. Another tip for you middle schoolers and high schoolers or elementary school, I don't even know anymore. Wear a condom. Don't be 13 and pregnant. Don't be 16 years and pregnant. Just, just don't be pregnant, ever. While we're at it, let's just let the population die. Another tip, do less of this. This, especially this, just put on pants just for that scene. Don't bother using your agenda. Just throw this piece of shit away. That's a loud noise. It's a waste of time. You're better off remembering it in your head or asking friends. Or here's a scenario for you guys. If you have science homework, how about you write your homework on the next page of your science notebook? It just sounds too easy. Do you see the trend I'm trying to go with here? How all this stuff seems too easy? Because it is. You prepubescent fuckwads. Oh, that's a phrase I'm gonna be using from now on. How about this? Don't be an attention whore or a complete pain in the ass to your teachers. A little bit of fuckery in each class is okay, but don't dumb yourself down to get attention from other people. You can do that in your spare time with your friends or when you're out of school. This is by far my favorite hack. Don't do DIY back to school hacks. Why would you spend money on a notebook? Spend money on art supplies only to make a prettier notebook that costs way more than just a regular notebook. It's like, come on, you're not gonna be artists, okay? Just don't bother with a notebook. No one's DIY stuff is gonna last them the whole year. Who wins in the end? Sure, you think you're all popular and cool now and hip with your notebook, but it's fucking school. You can have the prettiest notebook and still fail a class. So take note of that first hack and fucking study. Another hack, don't be a bully. This should be common sense by now, but it looks like every generation, we just get worse and worse. So I'm gonna say this one more time to get it in your prepubescent head. Don't bully. Do not, I repeat, do not cheat on tests. Karma will bite you in the ass and take you to court. Same thing applies for plagiarism. And lastly, the hack that I want you to take from all of these other hacks, this one is main priority. This hack is gonna prevent you from being known as that kid. Don't 
underline and highlight the same word or phrase. It's a student law. Follow it. Choose one or the other. It's not that fucking hard. And if you do do that, you look like an idiot. It's a waste of your lead and your highlight ink. It's almost like condiments. You can't have mustard and ketchup on fries. You gotta choose one or the other. And even if you do choose mustard on fries, that's disgusting as well. And this isn't a hack, just a tip. Make school fun. Everyone always talks about how they don't have any friends or they hate it. Try to get friends. It's so much easier and so much more fun if you have at least one friend, okay? All right, good luck in school, kids. And if you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment down below, or better yet, subscribe because I post videos every Saturday. Love you guys and everything is less than three.